Hello, this is Jose from SMH St. Mary's. I want to say hello to all our friends. So I'm going to read you a story. Today I'm a ladybug. I dress in ladybug from head to toe because I wanted you to see me even though I don't get to see you. And this wonderful ladybug story was written by Becky, our new wonderful receptionist. So I'm going to read the beautiful story that she wrote. It's about a little ladybug. So once upon a time, there was a little ladybug who was having a very sad day. It woke up feeling sad and lonely, but instead of staying home and staying sad, it decided to go out into the world and have make some new friends. That's exciting. It could see the other bugs out walking and playing in the park, and some were sitting on benches and reading stories, just like I'm reading to you. Everyone had a place to go and a friend to be with. The little ladybug wanted to try and talk to other bugs, <clears throat> but was too shy and scared. After walking around for a while and feeling even lonelier, it started to feel hungry in its tummy. So off it went to a restaurant and ordered a sandwich. What kind of sandwich do you like? I'm gonna have a peanut butter and banana sandwich. So it sat at the table all alone, but then three other bugs came in and sat ne next to her. A firefly, a grasshopper, and a spider. The ladybug didn't mean to be rude, but couldn't help but hear them talking. It's really scary, said the spider. No matter what kind of bug, it just gets squished. The spider was upset. Even grasshoppers, the grasshopper asked, and the spider nodded, oh yes, that's strange. Most people like grasshoppers. I like grasshoppers, don't you? But no one is safe around this child. They see a bug, they squish it. Oh, that's scary. That's awful, said the firefly, picking up a sandwich to eat. Where did you see this child? I want to be sure to tell the others to stay away. You know where the big pine tree is? The firefly nodded. The child is right next, next door in a little yellow house with a blue door. The ladybug decided it wanted to see this squishing child for itself. So it quickly finished its sandwich, yum, 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 and left to find the little yellow house with the blue door. Once outside, the ladybug spread its wings and took off. After a short while, it could see the house, and what luck, there was a child sitting outside on the porch, all alone. Even though the ladybug was scared, the ladybug flew in, landed on a bench close by. It crept quietly closer to the child, wanting to see it up close. The child was poking in the ground with a stick. It looked bored. The ladybug felt sorry for the child. What if they were just lonely, just like me? What if all they needed was a friend, like I need a friend? It was strange to think that a ladybug could have something in common with a child, but it was possible. With all the courage it had, the ladybug flew in closer, landing on the step just a few feet away. Hey, it yelled at the top of its lungs, but the child didn't move. It seemed to be concentrating really hard on something. The ladybug wanted to move closer, but decided to see what the child was doing with the stick. When the ladybug saw, it was shocked. The child was poking a spider and the spider was trapped. Oh no, help me. What are you doing, the ladybug yelled, and without thinking, flew down to the spider. The poor spider had a broken leg and was scared. The ladybug recognized the spider and felt bad that it was hurt. The ladybug looked up at the child who had not noticed them yet. Are you okay, the ladybug asked the spider. The spider slowly nodded his head. Yes, I think so, but it won't be long before the child finally squishes me. You better go, save yourself. No, the ladybug yelled, and again, without thinking, flew closer to the child and landed on its shoulder. What do you think you're doing? It yelled into its ear. There's a ladybug on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. What? Who said that? The child looked around. I did, said the brave little ladybug. The child looked down its shoulder and the eyes widened. Oh, it wasn't afraid, but very surprised, shocked even. I'd be shocked if a, spider, if a ladybug landed on my shoulder and started talking to me. What do you think you're doing? The ladybug repeated. The child was stunned and did not know what to say. 
That's my friend, the ladybug said, pointing to the spider on the ground. You're hurting my friend. I, I didn't know. It's just a spider, the child said. But why are you hurting my friend? I didn't know. I, I mean, I don't like bugs. They scare me. The ladybug says, it's okay to be scared. It was true. It was scary talking to the child, but it needed to be done. That, just because you're scared, it doesn't mean you should be allowed to hurt others. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Why do we scare you, the ladybug asked. You don't, but other bugs do. I don't scare you? The child shook his head. But you look nice, not creepy, crawly, and scary like the other bugs. Do I look nice as a, as a ladybug? And the ladybug says, you, uh, she says, even though I don't scare you, 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 can't be, you can't be scared of other bugs. He said, and so the, the little boy thought, oh, I guess it is kind of true. Maybe I don't have to be afraid. And the ladybug says, because I'm a bug too, and even though there are lots of different kinds of bugs who look different, they're really all the same. Just because we look different doesn't mean that you should be mean to some of us, though that scare you. And the little uh, child said, I'm sorry, I didn't know. The ladybug flew down to the spider, and the spider smiled a really big smile. Thank you, the, ch the spider cried. It's okay, can you get home? The spider tried to stand, oh, but quickly fell back and started crying. I don't think so, my leg hurts. What are we going to do? And the child said, hold on, and ran quickly inside the house. And the spider said, thank you so much for helping me. And, and he said to the ladybug, you were very brave to do that and stand up for me. The ladybug didn't feel much different from the other time, but knew it had to be true. The ladybug had been brave to stop that child. I can be brave, can you be brave too? It was the right thing to do. The little ladybug smiled at the spider. I could not let you get squished. Well, thank you, you're my new best friend. The ladybug smiled the best, biggest and greatest smile, just like this. Can you give me a great big smile? Just like that, good job. Climbing, the child came out carrying a little box. It knelt down the ground laying the box next to them. I'll take care of you, the child said. Here, climb into the box and I promise I will never hurt you. I'll make sure you're safe until you get better and then you can go home. The spider looked scared and didn't move, but the ladybug smiled. That's very nice of you. As your new friend, she said to the child, I'm gonna trust you to take very good care of my best friend. The child crossed his heart. I promise. The ladybug helped the spider into the box and the child put grass in it to make it more comfortable. The spider smiled at the ladybug once and said, thank you, it said again, you are very welcome. The child brought the box inside and for the next three days, the, lady and the, the ladybug and the spider stayed on that box and they were well taken care of. Then when it was time to go home, they didn't want to go. All three of them were now very best friends and the child never squished another bug in its life ever again. Isn't that a happy story? So now they have three best friends when they were scared of each other before, so you can be brave too. So I want to say goodbye from St. Mary's home, and we can't wait to see you again, and have a great day. Bye-bye.